We are decided to cook outside and you guys will be so happy to know that we're going to cook the hassa the big big hassa that we catch the last two weeks oh my god you guys request us when we're gonna cook it so today's the day guys so come along let's cook our hassa we cook it outside so today come on guys so we get started we throw our oil in our nice beautiful kahari we give it good oil guys here guys, we're going to cook our hassle curry. This is the olive green and the grind up seasoning. Onion, garlic and some green cilantro. So we're going to put hal hal masala and hal hal curry powder today. This is the masala. Hal hal masala guys. And hal hal curry powder. That's why we named this curry today. Hal hal masala curry powder hassle curry. So what you guys think? Let's mix it up together. Yep, it looks so good already. And some curry leaf. We put some curry leaf in here. And then we can put some coriander. I'm not measuring because this is the way I cook, okay? Some turmeric. Alright, so we all set here. We get some water here. We can do it like a real how my I used to cook back home. See, this is all the grain up, the masala, the curry powder, curry leaf. All right, we're ready to bungee. All right, here you hear the sizzling. This is a sizzling part. We can put edo. We can put a nice tomato. A lot of pepper. Nice spicy hal hal curry powder masala. Okay, we can bungee this good, you know. Kind of a little nice brownish color. Because even a bungee, the curry powder got taste for powder, so we need to get this. All right, guys, we got our nice green seasoning. You know, all the green thyme leaf, wrap thyme leaf, fine leaf thyme, shallot. There you go. So I still want this to bungee good. We go add edo. So in the meantime, this is bungee. We go start to peel the edo, and we have a coconut, the fresh coconut milk. We go put inside. So it's really yummy. Turn some um, fresh cut up onion and some green pepper. So when this finished bonjour, we can put the hasa inside and get a slow heat, you know, to cook. So all the ingredients get into the hasa and then in the meantime, I'm going to grate my coconut and peel the edges. Hi guys, look at this. You see, it's well cooked. So now we're going to add our big, big, nice chubby, chubby hasa. Look at the size, guys. I love the big hasa because like when you eat one hasa, you eat one hasa. Some people say they love the little ones. I like the little ones when you fry and put like in, in, in vegetables, squash, 
blanche. Because to me, when you eat water, the small hassa, you get to the bone so fast, so the flesh is like so little bit. So this big hassa, you eat one, you're so full and satisfied. So yummy. Actually, we thought we catch eight, but it's nine hassa we catch that day. Last two weeks, me and my hubby. Two weeks ago. And put them nicely. Actually, you know, I have to get the big one though. I always like the biggest tax <laughs> This is a little one. This is a little bit. They put them at the end. We'll give it a turn. Give it a turn here. Yeah. Add our salt, our nice salt. I don't cook with too much salt, guys. So, and some over the shoulder for good luck. The last time I forget, and one of our beautiful sub um say I forget to throw the salt over my shoulder. So then I did it. Hi guys, look at our hasa. It's still bon James slow heat. Now we are ready with all the pepper. See, this is the Jamaican one. I love this. This one's sort of with like a flavor. And this one for the chatak, the very, the hotness. And this is the um, edo. Showing all the edo. And then we we'll give it a turn. And we we'll go add all our, look at the tomato, guys. Look at this. This is our farm one. We leave it to real red and ripe. So I'll we'll put some in the hassa and then I will store some in the freezer. It's so good. This is like the Creole kind. You know, like the Creole kind of people say it's so good for fish curry. So there it is. And there, these are like for the one that you want to slice and eat. So we put the Creole one in here. We just slice up a lot of tomato. Look for all the Creole kind. Yes, this is one. Oh my god, you know what? I could smell our hassle curry till here. You know, like back home when your neighbor cook your has cook the curry, you could smell it. That's what I'm smelling. I feel like I'm back in Guyana smelling this aroma from the fish curry, from the hassle curry. Wow, that's so good. And look at this guys. All those are balanje plant. All these are pepper. Look at our golden apple tree. You see there's no leaf because of the when it was cold. Now it starts to grow back the um the green tree. This is our mold that we buy, like I think $40 for a ton. No, like a trailer, like a small trailer. So we bring like four trailer load here that we put on the plants. Organic, guys, as my husband said, everything is organic. Everything he do is organic. <laughs> All right, let's go back inside and see how our house curry is coming. Give it a thorn. It's bubbling. Wow, this smells so good. Get chatak chatak curry powder and chatak chatak masala. Hi guys, our hasa ready for the coconut milk. So here we're gonna throw our rich, milky, delicious coconut milk. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys, I carned this hasa overnight last night with salt. To me, when you um, carn it, it so tastes so much better. Like the flesh just loose off the, the bone. So that's what I like to carn. Barbies people, that's what they love. They do so much amazing thing. Like, you know, carn the hasa before you cook. They say jambaji. So yeah, there go. They teach us all these things, guys. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll let this to boil. Look at them, how oh, they're so big. They're real obese. Real obese hasa. <laughs> but actually, we don't want it to lose weight. You guys keep getting fat. That's okay. This is our hasa curry that you guys want us, request us to cook, that we catch, and here it is. Unfortunately, we cooked the um, tilapia, like, a couple days after we catch it because 
Um, we didn't have anything to cook, so we just cook it out. Hopefully next time we get tilapia curry, tilapia and we can cook the curry and you guys will see. Yep, it's all done. So let's give this famous Guyanese delicacy a <laughs> try. It's um, let's go. Let's dig in, guys. This is how you eat has. Some people say it's so hard to eat, but it's so easy for me. Look, I try to get a both side, peel out first. Here you go. Look how easy it come up. It told you when you guys carn has, it's so easy. See, it's all clean now. And I got to go this middle bone here too. Mmm, that's so good. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to check out our Instagram and Facebook page. We'll look for you there. Take care. Bye bye for now. Love you guys.